I'm Sean Tilbert, Principal Percussionist of the Phoenix Symphony, and this is the first in a series of short snare drum videos dealing with some of our standard orchestral repertoire. Uh, today, one of my favorites, Lieutenant Kiji. Lieutenant Kiji uh, is one of those excerpts that we're going to treat far differently for the audition than we might if we were to play it on stage with an orchestra. On stage with the orchestra, I would probably use more of a military field style drum, uh, less dampening, he probably wouldn't need to play much less than a mezzo piano, really. Uh, for auditions, we're going to kind of do the opposite of that. I think you want a very sensitive, very clear in the soft area drum. Uh, we're going to dampen it significantly, and, and we're going to play very, very, very softly. Here I've got maybe the largest I would suggest, although I've heard some really nice six and a halfs. Uh, this is a five and a half by 14 uh, maple ply multisonic black swamp. And I know a lot of people are using 4x13s, even down into piccolo sizes. Uh, the main idea is that you want it to be sensitive, uh, with a lot of snare response, but also very clear uh, in the soft area. On top of that, I'm going to have very light, very thin dampening. You don't want it too heavy, or it's going to kill off too much of the drum. Uh, this is just enough to get all of that ringing out, again, helping us with clarity. Once you've got your setup, uh, I think we like to break Kiji down into two main goals. Goal number one, we need to master these ornaments. Um, there's a lot of them, it's very soft. We need them to be clear, we need them to have direction to the, to the beat, and we need them to be consistent. Our second goal is going to be capturing this groove that we need, because it is a march. So despite the dynamic and all of the ornaments that we need to get through, uh, at, its, at its core, it's a march, and it has to feel right. Uh, so dealing with the ornaments first. In my daily routine, um, I use a lot of rudimental drumming, and I think that uh, this Pratt book here, the 14 Modern Contest solos, uh, Drum Corps on Parade, Hodgepodge, uh, also a lot of Wilcoxon and Ludwig and some of the old, um, other old masters of, of rudimental writing, they serve us really well for soft playing. Now, at first, this might be kind of difficult, but if you just spend five to 10 minutes every day um, getting as soft as you can and as close to the marked tempos as you can, you're really going to find that it improves your, your facility and your soft playing. So taking something like um, Drum Corps on Parade, I'll just run that entire solo as soft as I can, then the next day even softer. Um, now getting more specifically attacking the challenges of Kiji, uh, this triple stroke rough that, that everyone stresses about, first you need to settle on sticking, um, right right left or right left left if you're right handed, works very well, and the opposite for, for lefties. I have exercises that I use that uh, address this challenge directly, um, and these are in my book, The Regimen. The Regimen is my attempt to simplify your daily snare drum warm-up routine. Spend 30 to 45 minutes in six or seven different sections of singles, multis, flams, rolls, soft playing, etc., uh, so that you are in improving your technical facility across all of the challenges of drumming. Um, and in my soft section of the regimen, we have triple P exercise number two, uh, which at first seems very simple, but as you notice the sticking variations and the tempo, it's not quite that simple. Um, I really like this one to improve the consistency of your triple stroke rough, because one of the biggest challenges is the timing of that triple stroke. We can all do doubles and singles, but putting them together, shaping them correctly, and, and doing them in time uh, at this really soft dynamic is difficult. So I'll take this exercise, start it a little uh, louder and a little slower, and then as I get comfortable, again, push my tempo up and push my dynamic down. Just loop that a couple of minutes a day, problem solved. 
Now we've handled the ornaments, we have a direct plan of attack. We need to conquer our other challenge, which is the groove, and making this feel like a march above and beyond all else. Uh, there's no real easy way to do this, but first thing I have all my students do, play the entire excerpt at a nice, comfortable mezzo piano. Invariably, this sounds and feels great. So we just need to translate that. We need to really get that in our ear, in our hands, and we need to make sure that that same feel is coming across as we're traversing all of these ornaments and, and this really soft dynamic. So let's just take uh, simply the last four measures of, of Kiji. I'll loop it, and as it feels good, I'll decrescendo and make sure I'm retaining that same feel. should also point out quarter note equals 120. Non-negotiable, not a beat less or a beat more. 120. Um, yeah, so we're going to try that with all of the difficult bars of Kiji. Make sure that as we're improving our facility and the ornaments, it is allowing us this freedom of groove. Now the last thing I want to get into is sticking. I've seen a lot of odd stickings for Kiji and I really think, although in your daily practice routine you're going to focus on both hands equally, maybe even spend more time on your weekend. When it gets down to it, you're on stage, um, you're auditioning, ride your strong hand. So for me, that's my right hand. So 98% of Kiji is going to fall on my right hand. I'm only going to bring my left hand in for the 16th notes and, and the ornaments. Um, the one exception to that is the last eighth note of measure four, just before we do the triple stroke rough into the downbeat of five. I need to leave myself a little bit more space, and I don't really like the, the triple right action at the start of that rough. So I will do four and on my left hand, and then rough into my right. So that would be four and, and then rough. That's the only exception. All the others falls on my right hand. And everything else, right hand metronome. I think that this is plenty to get you guys going. Um, next video is going to be Scheherazade.